Good afternoon, it's EMS Automotive, manufacturer of sheet metal for old cars and trucks. Today we're going to talk about 57 to 60 Ford F100, one of the most popular pickup trucks on the market today. And we're going to talk about our new products. One of them is the inner door post. Here it is, this is the inner door post, the door closes over here. Uh, as you can see, it's all precision die stamped in Detroit where car parts are supposed to be made. We have all the impressions for this. It goes on there. We'll show you a little bit later how it goes on, how it goes on the truck. One of the other parts we have, three parts today we're talking about. We're going to be talking also about the step plate. This is the step plate or running board inside the door. Now we want to see about this is heavy 18 gauge all the ribs are stamped in it, just like it's supposed to be. Where it, where it needs to tuck, this is for the rear door post, we've offset the material so it can tuck under like OEM, and we did the same thing on the front. We did the offset just like the factory did. Okay, now one of the things noticed compared to the cheapo Chinese tissue paper, black painted garbage that doesn't fit right, the rocker panel. Some places are going to tell you there's a rocker panel and a running board. There is no such thing. The only reason they made it in two pieces, they don't have the technical expertise EMS Automotive has in Detroit, Michigan. Okay, this is all made in one piece. Okay, no two pieces where you have to weld it. Here again, look at the detail. The door closes here. We've turned the edges where they're supposed to be. Heavy 18 gauge. And to go along with that, we have the step plate riser, which here's a step plate riser. Oh, it looks simple, but it isn't. Compound curve is a very big piece. Looking at our floor pan here, this riser goes in there and notice the fit. We got the fit correctly. We got the gap correctly. We've got the overlap, just like OEM. Here again, heavy 18 gauge, made in Detroit where things are supposed to be. Here again, some of the tissue paper, Chinese, black uh, garbage doesn't have this. This is, We're going to show you how complex this part really is. It's like again, there again, it fits right on there. And at the bottom, I don't have enough hands to hold the, hold the, the uh, step plate or the inner running board goes in here. But I'll show you how they fit together in a second. Oh. Here again, here's, here's our step plate. We, and here's our step plate riser. We're gonna show you how well they fit together, the way they're supposed to fit on this side here. And our cameraman's gonna grab that and he's gonna show you, he's gonna show you the fit like this. Okay, that's how that goes. And if I'm lucky, I'm gonna get this right on the floor pan like that. I wish I just had a little bit more hands, okay? Also, remember, we're talking about it before we go over to our truck. We also have floor braces or cab mounts. This happens to be heavy 16 gauge, correct. Watch out for the Chinese stuff being Photoshopped silver. These are our cab corners. All EMS parts when shipped from the factory will have a sticker on it that says EMS on our phone number. We're the only company that does that because we're not afraid to take calls from customers. And if you try to buy something somewhere and there's no phone number, why? Why are they trying to hide from you? We don't have to hide, we just make the best. And now the second part of the video, 57 to 64 F1s. We stepped up to a rusty cab that we have here and if you need to see us, emsautomotive.com. You see all our videos and all that stuff you're supposed to see on the website. Um, here again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover the inside door post, kind of like people don't know what I'm talking about. This is your inside door post. This is where it rots out. Obviously, most of it's gone. And um, here again, we've made it, it goes in there. It fixes everything. And it's, we've made the offset over here. It really doesn't rust up here. We made the cut point here, so we do not have to interfere at the window and the windshield. We don't want to crack it. So for the expert body guys that think they know everything, no. 
this is the way it goes in there it'll be real it's a little bit high real easy it'll just cut across you weld it in there all the shapes and curves just like it's supposed to be okay and you can see our we got the floor pan sitting in there but it can't tuck in there that good it does come up real good just like it's supposed to we have that now the next thing is the step plate or running board some people like to call it a running board it's enclosed on the door we call it a step plate seems to be more common as you can see here it is one piece from the factory not two and it does not need a the cheap ass floor brace or the stuff the other garbage guys give you the black chinese stuff as you can see it goes in all the impressions now here's the interesting part here this extends all the way back and tucks behind the cab corner unlike it does not get cut off here we we've got it where it it here it tucks in behind that's important for the whole strength of this brace or column you got the cab corner inner cab corner and it all comes together here and they all have to overlap we have that here now that also applies to the front where it's more rusted and you'll see over here there's a little bit left of the fender bolt a little bit left of the top not much we've included that with the offset so it fits it fits in there just like it's supposed to you can see the shapes and the curves no problem with that heavy 18 gauge again made in detroit where car parts are supposed to be now this is this is the step plate this is the step plate riser okay you gotta make sure you got your terms so you get the right piece okay most people buy them all anyway. here again heavy 18 gauge and what i want to what i want to bring up it doesn't really what I want to bring up here, it doesn't just stop here. Oh, it's a curved piece. It tucks all the way in the back with the flange that goes in the back over there. It's kind of hidden, but once you start cutting it apart, you need this metal in there. You need to correct curve so it all fits. Same thing up front. This thing continues believe it or not all the way to the front and we're going to go around and point to that here again cable man's going to come around this edge here is this edge here okay that's how important a full complete piece is needed in these trucks everything comes together floor brace cab mount floor pan step plate riser step plate Door po main door post column, we'll have that soon. Inner door post column. You got six or seven pieces here, and they all have to be precision made or ain't nothing gonna fit right. That's what this is, this is tapered, so it fits in there correctly by EMS Automotive. And remember, all of our parts shipped from the factory with a sticker on it with our name and phone number. So if you got any problems, you can call us.